Good morning, everybody. Welcome to episode 342. So what's that mean? We got 23, 23 days left of this. Anyway, we're back from the cruise. I'm back to riding the bike. And man, it's amazing what a week off the bike does to you. Well, and it's windy. So I had a headwind on this last little stretch coming up to the house. I'm pooped. And I'm pooped from the cruise and uh, Nerdy Badger, our oldest daughter, is moving today. Yay! So we got to get ready, get around, and uh, go load up all her shit and move it to her new house. So no rest for the wicked, I guess. With that being said, I guess I better get in there, get my coffee, because I earned it, and uh, get ready to move my daughter. We'll see you guys here in a little bit. All right, moving day. We're halfway there, as you can see. There's the U-Haul, getting ready to back in to Nevaeh's house. We got our old house all emptied out. They still got cleaning to do, but all the big stuff's moved out. So now we're gonna move all the big stuff into our new house and then call it a day. Mama Badger is a uh, war the fuck out. I'm hydrating. She's hydrating. Apparently so alcohol on a cruise does not do good for me. <laughs> Mama Badger's alcohol on a cruise didn't do well. She's uh, dehydrated and achy and tired and she's just done. So hopefully we'll get this moved. I can get her home and get her napping this afternoon. So back to work. All right, we got Nevaeh all moved. We got lunch eight. I sat down and watched a movie for two hours and uh, I realized that my, my chill, my chill is broken. I, I sat there pretty miserable for two hours. I was like on my phone, on my computer, on my on my iPad, and just like, what do I do? What do I do? What do I do? Gotta do something. Can't just sit here. Um, we were talking about this on the cruise, and Angie and I are like, so what would a vacation for us look like? Right? I mean, we just went on a cruise. We travel all over the country on our motorcycles, but we literally work every single day. Even though we're on what most would consider vacation so what would a vacation truly look like for mama badger and i and we looked at each other and we're like we honestly don't know i mean we're pretty lucky we get to do what we want to do in life um we get to go do all these great adventures we get to share those adventures with you so i'm not complaining don't get me wrong i am not complaining but there are days like today i'm tired like i feel like i could lay down and go to sleep but um, and my body's just drained. Like, I don't want to do anything, but I can't just sit there. So that leads me to my next project. Um, the old Toyota pickup. Here it is. You've seen it. It's the Badger Mobile. Anyway, the Badger Mobile's driver's side window quit working a while back. And I have the parts, but I've never taken the time to actually put the parts in it and fix it. Well, today we were moving Neve and I hopped in the truck and it wasn't hot out. And if it's not, I have to have the air condition hot out. I want the windows down. It's just who I am. So I could roll mama's window down and I could slide the back slider open, but I couldn't roll my window down. And it was driving me insane. So after I watched the movie, I'm like, what am I going to do now? Mama Badger is resting because Mama Badger does not feel good at all. Um, it took her, it took it all out of her. She's done. So anyway, she's resting. Um, I'm just sitting in the house doing nothing. So I was like, you know what? I'm going to go fix that. So guess what? I'm going to pull that door panel off. I'm going to take the window regulator out of there. I'm going to swap out the window regulator motor. And then I'm going to put it all back together. And hopefully I have a working window at that point. But anyway, just thought I'd let you guys know what's happening this afternoon. And I'm going to get to work and get this done. We'll see you guys in a bit. All right, mission accomplished. But anytime you're working on older stuff, you have to plan on maybe having a little ingenuity. Um, you may actually have to fix something instead of just replace a part because um, sometimes they get the parts wrong. So I had a brand new window motor. The problem is that the armature is wrong. So it actually has it sticking out this way when it should be sticking out that way. So. I had it all apart, right? And I'm like, I do not want to try to find another supplier for this. The other thing is, 
the plug-in was wrong. It didn't plug into my truck. So, I just replaced the old burnt armature. This is the old one. With the armature out of the new one. Shit's falling apart. And voila. I got basically a new window motor. And it's working fantastically. So, instead of trying to get another part and then sending me the wrong part again, um, and me having to take the truck back apart again, uh, I just took the parts from one motor, put them in the other motor, and uh, made it work. They both were Toyota parts, and uh, they were both identical. So when I got them apart, these pieces in the new motor and the old motor were exactly identical. I measured them out. Um, everything was perfectly the same, except one was new and one was all burnt up. So all I did was replace the burnt up one with the new one, throw it all back together. Window works like a charm. Anyway, mission accomplished. I got that done. At least I feel like I've accomplished something today. Well, of course, I moved Desi. I mean, Desi. I moved Neve too. So Neve is completely moved out of her old place into her new place. She just needs to go to the old place and clean it up. And uh, then she will be completely done. So it was a very successful day i would say hopefully mama badger feels better i don't know i haven't checked on her in a while so i'm gonna go clean up a little bit and uh, check on mama badger but that's it that's the end i'm gonna grill out a steak because sunday is steak night i'm back on my diet so basically carnivore only um that's gonna take a little adjusting but uh we will uh, get back on it and then at the end of the month i will give you my year to date update how much net weight I lost. Uh, because you can't really count. If you lost 37 pounds, then you gained 15 pounds. You didn't lose 37 pounds. So um, once it's all said and done at the end of this month, I will say, here's my net loss for the year. And uh, we'll see if I'm happy or not with that. And the mosquitoes are attacking me. So I'm out of here. We'll see you guys tomorrow.